Hi, Carl from Cabrillo here. September is Coastal Cleanup Month, and I'm going to be spending a little extra time every day picking up trash in and around my neighborhood and where I work to keep it from getting to the ocean. These two bags are the normal amount of trash I pick up on the last half mile that I walk to work every day. I'll be going through this stuff later. But I also spend about two and a half hours picking up trash around the park, our staff parking lot and on the sidewalk out in front of the aquarium. And this is what I came up with. Not too impressive, it looks like. Well, let's take an actual look at what's inside here to see what I picked up. So once I've removed the bulkier stuff, this is what was left behind in my bucket. While it still doesn't look super impressive, you need to remember that all of these things are really small. Bits of styrofoam. Bits of hard plastic candy wrappers. Little bits of wiring. Things like that. These are the pieces that are most often looked over when doing a beach cleanup. Picking up the big pieces is easy. You can see them from a far way off. And once you pick them up, everything looks better. But when you're out there picking up trash, I just want to remind you to look closely at the ground. It's the little pieces like these that wind up causing the biggest problems. This is the stuff that the birds are eating and taking back to their babies. These are the things that fish are eating thinking that they're worms or some other kind of plankton. This is the stuff that is easily caught and ingested by smaller animals and working its way up the food chain. Don't get me wrong, the big stuff's important. And eventually, most of this big stuff will break up to these little scraps here. But if we can get both of these before they come down to the ocean, that will make a huge, huge difference. So remember, clean street equals clean ocean. Take care and be safe out there. And thank you for joining us.